Hello again and welcome back to part five of Building Your Own Server. Um, okay, well while I've been off camera, I've installed the motherboard in the case. Um, I was a little bit concerned whether or not the backplate behind the CPUs could actually be uh, viewed by removing this cover um, at the rear of the Corsair case. Fortunately, um, two things I've come across, two positives I've come across. Um, the first one is uh, the fact that this backplate is so large, as you can see, and it comes off, detaches um, quite easily. It's made of plastic rather than, rather than metal, it's actually plastic. Um, you can see I'm using a dual processor motherboard and you can actually see there's plenty of room on the rear of um, the uh, motherboard because the, the, ent the entry hole is so large I can see both my processors easily. So that's, that's, that's one positive. So well done Corsair for, um, for doing that. I can't guarantee that all dual um, CPU motherboards will actually line up this easily. Um, but um, certainly with this particular motherboard, which, as I said, was an Asus, um, what was the model of it? Asus Z8 uh, NA-D6, that, that worked a treat. Um, now the next stage was um, deciding whether or not I needed to put the motherboard in first. Um, and I could get away with attaching the um, back plates for the water cooling afterwards, or whether I needed to actually put those in place before I put the motherboard into the uh, into the case. Fortunately, um, that's not been an issue at all for me, because surprisingly, um, I wasn't aware of this, uh, but it's a it's a nice touch. This particular motherboard has backplates already in place with threaded inserts. So all I've got to do is attach my cooler unit directly onto the motherboard. I've not seen this um, feature on a motherboard for a long, long time. They're usually just holes and you've got to do all your own attachments yourself. So uh, certainly Asus have um, have done have done a good job in um, in setting that in setting up. So I haven't got to worry about installing any backplanes at all. Even though, uh, as I mentioned at the offset, uh, one of my earlier videos, that I'm actually putting an Antec water cooler, uh, which comes with an abundance of um, various uh, backplates uh, and attachments for a variety of processors both for Intel and AMD CPUs. Uh, but none of those I'm going to, I'm going to have to need, um, which, is, which is good. Um, the only thing which I'm going to have to attach is, is this um, at the front of the, uh, of, of the motherboard. This will allow the water cooling pump to, to line up over the CPU um, easily. So, and I put this together a little bit just to give you an idea of of how it works. Uh, you've got a variety of screws and grommets, um, all which you attach appropriately um, for your particular CPU. Um, so that's sorted. Another thing, so I'll, I'll fit that in due course. Um, something which I, I wanted to just share with you, if I may, is um, the processor itself, this um, Intel Xeon. 5600 series processor. Um, I've never, I've never even had the opportunity to look at one of these close up before. Um, so it was a bit of a shock to me um, when I realised that the pins are no longer on the processor. Instead, the pins are on the motherboard, uh, and the processor has the holes for the pins to go into. Um, so that. 
something which I, I wasn't aware and I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't aware of that. So that's just a feature that um, is useful for for everybody else who's not aware of that. Um, just to be just to be conscious of. I've already put the one processor in, um, but I'm going to unbox this other one now in front of you and um, and show you how this one lines up. Obviously, there's a seal to break. There always is on everything these days. There we go. Um, inside the box, there is um, very little, as you can imagine. Just a bit of cardboard protective packaging um, holding the, um, the plastic sleeve, which the processor is wrapped in. Um, and also uh, an installation instructions, which I actually found vital. Um, I was looking for an arrow um, on the um, on the motherboard. I was looking for an arrow which would line up with the arrow on the corner of this processor. So I got the orientation correct. Unfortunately, um, there's no arrow at all on the motherboard. Uh, and this flummoxed me because you can imagine with all those thousands of pins, you, you can't afford to make the slightest mistake, otherwise you're going to bend one. Um, but it's interesting because I, I then realised after reading the instructions, which I should have read first, to be honest. Um, but I think it's the old story. If you if you built lots and lots of workstations uh, and home-based PCs, um, you feel really reasonably confident that you know what you're doing and then suddenly you start going down a different route and you think it's similar, which, which it is, but it doesn't necessarily need to say it's the same. What they've done with these processors is they've got a notch, a bit like uh, when you're installing memory, they've actually put a notch about uh, three quarters of the way up on each side. Um, and basically, you have to make sure that those notches, which are cut out of the uh, out of the material that the processor is made, um, uh, that lines up with little uh, nibs which are sticking out on the actual CPU um, area on the motherboard. So um, that's just something to bear in mind. Um, when you're lining these up. Now, I'm not going to try and do this now on camera because I don't. I want to take my time and get this put in. I've already put one in, um, and um, it, uh, it's something which requires a certain amount of precision. Uh, and I'm going to do the same with this one now. So uh, the next time you see uh, see the, the internals of the computer, there will be two processors in there. And then we'll run through uh, what I'm planning to do regarding the water cooling. So, I'll get back to you again shortly.